Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. It is currently 9.45 p.m. We just got home from traveling back from Florida. We went to Disney for a week and it was amazing. And I wanted to show you guys my amenities bag because I am not a very minimalistic traveler. Um, surprisingly, this trip I took less stuff, which will be um, a shock once you see the abundance of beauty things I took. However, when we travel back home to Brazil, there is a whole nother bag just for on the plane skincare. You bet your ass. I am on the plane, masking, eye masking, spraying, toning, moisturizing. I have no, what is the word? Sh shame, no shame. Wanna land hot, wanna take off hot at all times. Currently, did I land hot? No. Hot mess, yes. We're just not gonna address it. We're gonna um, appreciate my being here even though I haven't been here for like five months, but we're gonna move on. So this is my little bag. We love her. There's like a lot of bunch, a lot of, <laughs> there's a bunch of little bags in the bag. I don't know where I got this. Mother got it for me. And then some extra little things. I think I'm just gonna open and we'll go by category. For my teeth, I did bring my own toothpaste because I need to use my little Sensodyne Advanced Whitening. And then electric toothbrush because I've had cavities in the past and it's my biggest fear, so I have to brush for minutes, morning and night with my little electric toothbrush. Cannot go without her, do not care where we're going, even to the rainforest, she's coming with me. So next up, I brought this huge thing of Harry's shave gel, which is my um, thing that I used to shave. However, I did not bring my Gillette razor, which I... I do feel the need to share this, did not pack it. I used the Gillette skin guard. I have very, very sensitive skin. There are occasions that I can pack on acids on my skin and be fine. However, once it comes to shaving, I do break out every time, even with this razor. But I just wanted to shout this out because it's amazing. Next up, hair. Well, are you, can y'all tell I'm like delirious? I don't, I didn't have my iced coffee today. Um, they didn't have any coffee, so I haven't had any coffee, so I am having a little bit of withdrawal. So if I sound a little slurring, that's the reason. <laughs> So hair, currently wouldn't listen to advice for myself, but usually looks pretty cute. Pretty overall, I have pretty like naturally curly, not like curly curly, but like curly hair. So I took this hair stuff, I took this very crusty dusty um, Conair brush that has, has been with me through it all and it broke this morning. So do I need to buy a new one? Uh, maybe a black one to look less gross? Yes, but I do love her. I do my little things with it. And then another little bag. I love way hair products. I just find them aesthetic and cute. They're my vibe, they're minimalistic. So I use their curl creme, big bottle, put a little, it just helps my curls a little bit. And then while my hair is still wet, I use their matte pomade. This one has like a really nice smell. I don't know how to even start describing it. It just smells like nice. And then once my hair is like fully, like right before the like final step, I put a little bit of the weight texturizing hairspray, do a little zhuzh, and then um, the Schwartz Kopt, sh cannot pronounce that, the got to be glued. This stuff is literally got to be glued, but um, Florida is humid, Florida is wet, Florida is like a swamp of America, peace and love, and it was raining. So my hair did it last, absolutely not. Is it got to be glued's fault? Maybe but it's not. Oh, I feel like we've already gone through so much and we have barely even dug in there. Honorable mention for my little teeth care, little tooth scraper. Tooth scraper? Absolutely not. Tongue scraper. Love her, takes off your bad breath. If your tongue is white, you're not doing it right. Another little bag. This is my native deodorant, um, eucalyptus and mint, paraben free, aluminum free, aluminum free, I think. Do your own research. I've heard bad things, not gonna make claims. Um, I like this one, it makes me not stinky. However, if I need a little extra, Dove Men Care Dry Spray. A little just on top. Always have one of these in my school bag because you will not catch me smelling bad. And then my cologne, this is The Wake Heart by Ethan Dolan. I know I sound like such a little stan. I just saw the packaging and it's really cute. It's like, has his signature on it. This stuff is vanilla lavender something. So I love this stuff and I rebought it too many times. And then just contacts because I can't see. Some little earplugs because I hate listening to things when I sleep, so earplugs. Little retainers, never had braces, didn't need retainers, but I'm scared my teeth are gonna move just on the bottom. So I asked my dentist to make me retainers. I just want my teeth to stay looking good. Now let's get into skincare. First of all, the Naturium Fermented Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil. This cleansing oil is kind of like a gel to oil thing. I'm really obsessed with Naturium, you will see. And then my 
cleanser every day has been the Naturium Niacinamide Cleansing Gelée, 3%. This stuff is like literally like water. It's super, super light. So I've really been obsessed with this one. And then I had to bring, bring my La Roche-Posay um, Epiclair Medicated Gel Cleanser with 2% salicylic acid. The reason I brought this is I always use this after shaving. So I will wash my face with my Niacinamide Gelée before so I don't get any bacteria while shaving and then in my shaving areas I will like really really scrub a dub dub with this one because it has some like menthol and some things which to some people can irritate but to me it just feels good after which can be a lot by the way FYI shaving is exfoliating plus this is exfoliating this works for me <laughs> and then I leave it like on my skin for like at most a minute and it just really really helps prevent breakouts because salicylic acid is amazing for preventing breakouts so I did bring this one for shaving and then I did bring my Gillette razor so but I still used it because, again, Florida is a swamp. So I did use this a couple of times throughout the week, even after Accutane, just to make sure my skin was clean. And then my Naturium Niacinamide Skin Mist 2% with Hyaluronic Acid and Nice. Obviously, it's called. Okay, moving on. I love a mist. I love a mist. Um, preferably a mist without too much scent because then I just feel guilty using it because I know it's not good for me. And then at night, I've been using the Paula's Choice. 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. If you have been here for a while, you know I made basically an entire video dedicated to hating this product because this product has a lot of purging for my skin, which means everything and anything inside of my skin comes out. Even after Accutane, that's the, the cure to acne, my skin broke out and it was not cute. But after a while, it helps your skin overall stay smooth. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue using this forever. I need to keep trying things, but currently in my bag at all times. Hands up to this guy. Morning, I brought my Crave Beauty Great Berry Relief. I literally started using this one day before the trip, so I was like, gotta bring it. I've been on and off with this. I don't think I've had a long period of time where I use this. This is a skin barrier repairing serum, and it's really hydrating. Okay, next up, Naturium Azelaic Acid Emulsion, 10%. Use this at night, helps with my redness, I think. I don't really know, I can't really tell you guys. I need to use this for like three months. But this is what I'm currently trying to work on is overall even toneness. I eye cream is basically just a moisturizer in a smaller container. However, I do still find myself buying this one. I just want wanted it to really hydrate my eyes. Do you need it? No. Do I love it? Yes. Morning moisturizer. This is the niacinamide gel cream 5%. As you can see, I use a lot of niacinamide in my routine. Kind of on purpose, kind of not. I just kind of wanted to try these products. And niacinamide, um, you've heard that like, it helps your acne, it helps your dark spots. People need to remember its main function is helping your skin barrier, which is kind of how it helps everything else. Water creams like this one, radiant. Night moisturizer. Naturium multipeptide moisturizer plus ethylated vitamin C and panthenol. Panthenol, good for soothing. It's not horribly, like, greasy. It's a really amazing moisturizer overall. The most important step of any skincare routine is the Elta MD. Not the Elta. It's sunscreen. SPF. This is SPF 46, weirdly specific. And this one is for acne-prone skin. However, throughout the week, I did find myself stealing my mother's hyaluronic acid version of the tinted one just because it was a little dewier. It's not really tinted to, like, cover things up. It just removes the white cast. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Nighttime Lip Treatment. I use this every night. Love it. I love a thick lip balm at night. Okay, we're finally getting to the makeup bag. Did not bring a primer with me because I just do not... Oh my, I'm about to have a heart attack. This is live on camera reaction of what my foundation, I don't know if I didn't fully close it, exploded. Where are the damn makeup wipes? Oh my God, I think it got in the blush. <laughs> do we? There is no more blush. Now I don't know how to deal with this debacle at this current moment. Let's go through my makeup. <laughs> First, um, the product that is fully on me, it is good packaging, a little squeeze tube, the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder um, SPF 15. This foundation is really, really pretty, makes your skin look gorgeous, cannot wait till we don't have to wear masks anymore so I can stop putting so much powder on my skin and looking glowy. Love this stuff, has a little extra SPF boost to help your additional sunscreen. Then, the product that I didn't find myself using throughout the week is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector. I just didn't use it a lot this week, but it's like a peach, so it cancels out purple. Then you put your concealer on top, makes you look awake and gorgeous. Should have used it more, don't know why I did that. 
This is the makeup product that I probably have the most love and hate relationship with. It is the NARS Creamy Concealer. Um, bought this once, needed a new concealer. Really, really liked it, but liked it most using it all over my skin. It made my skin look gorgeous. However, this concealer is already expensive per fluid ounce, so it is not meant to be used as a foundation. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand and contour wand so i have the contour wand in light to medium love this stuff the best contour ever blends so easily if you don't know how to contour buy this it blends so easy and it's it's literally insane how fast it blends then i have the peach gasm which is so fun to order in store to walk around being like where's the glow gasm peach gasm so fun to order thank you again this is like those little spongy things that you've seen on tiktok madison beer popularized it it's been popular for years though love this it's like a shimmery blush and then the highlight wand this is they don't really have shade names on it. This is just the lightest champagne one, like the white rosy one. I use the Laura Mercier setting powder. I do like having a loose powder, but I didn't pack one because my mom uses the same one, so I would just steal a little bit of hers every day. But I did pack my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder. As you can see, this is in the shade 2, which is the medium. This stuff is amazing. Blurs your pores, make you look flawless. So I did not pack this. However, while in Orlando, we went to Disney Springs and there was a Mac store and I've been wanting a little like color brick thing. I've been wanting a little thing with different shades because I've been trying to experiment with like spot concealing. So this has some neutrals, some yellows, some pinks. And I did use this under my eyes. It lays beautiful. MAC overall has just been like a staple for so long. So I just haven't tried a lot. I don't think I've ever tried a base product from MAC aside from their, um, what is that called? The like glowy primer, the, it literally is not in my brain right now. Okay, and then, the Dior Backstage Blush in Rosy Glow. Oh my god. And now it's ruined. I'm feeling mellow. I'm feeling blue. Um, brow products that I brought. Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat Medium Brown. I'm not even gonna try to show it. If you know makeup, there's the little like circular ones that are tiny and then there's the ones that's kind of like an angled line. And so this is like the angled line one. The formula is amazing. Literally ran out this morning. The cool thing about this product though is I don't know if it's actually sustainable or if it's greenwashing, but this comes out. So you can repurchase just the pencil, which is alarming how little. This is all the formula and this is the packaging. Then Patrick Ta for brows. I think I've literally owned like three, four, five of these. It's just like the laminated brow look. You dip in your little spoolie, get in there, push it in. But this stuff is amazing. And then sometimes if my brows look a little ashy, I love the, this is the dip brow gel. I love to put this on the end sometimes. I don't remember using this throughout the week, but it was there. This stuff, I genuinely cannot tell you if it works. I was in New New York. I don't know if it was the Times Square one. Walked into a Sephora. Met the nicest lady. She sold me on so much Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I had been thinking about it. I was like, I don't want to spend my like money for like this trip on here, but I did spend like the majority of my like money at Sephora. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This stuff. Search it up online. The lady said she like did a test on like one of the days that like Corona was like booming, and she put like eyeshadow, and this was the one that like made the eyeshadow not budge. And I do really like this because I can put on a lot of setting spray and not have to put powder over it and it won't rub off in my mask as much. So I am going to repurchase this probably like tomorrow morning. And then the only mascara that works for me, a lot of mascaras make my eyelashes fall out, look clumpy, look ugly. Roller Lash by Benefit. I love her, have not found one that I like as much. I do remember loving the Glossier one. So if you want to try that one, I do remember really liking that mascara. But this is the one that I just like and it doesn't scare me to put it on because some will literally make my lashes just... Goodbye, fall out. Lip liner, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. Their Pillow Talk one is most popular. Tried it in store, did not like the shade, it's pinky. And then I actually had a second lip liner when I went to the MAC store. So this is the MAC lip liner in Chestnut. It is really, really dark and I have actually been really liking this formula. So the brushes that I brought were the Morphe X Jeffree Star. I don't even know if they still sell this after the whole debacle. I'm not at all associating myself with anyone. I'm just saying out of all the brushes I had bought previously, this one was easy because I could use it for blush, I could use it for powder, but this is just a brush I use a lot. It's just a round brush. It's not that special. And then I brought my brush that is now coated in my Charlotte Tilbury foundation. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH32. I love the Jaclyn Hill collection with Morphe. I don't even know if they still sell it. It's just really high quality brushes out of the Morphe ones. It's even like a little better. And the brush that I bought, it is the MAC 1275. Do you see that? It's dual-sided. So one side is synthetic fibers, which usually in makeup you use for 
powder products and then one side is natural fibers which you usually use for cream products especially if you like wash this um, mac brushes are probably like some of the best quality brushes again staple in so many makeup artist kits but it is a cool brush because it's kind of like two in one is this a fun brush i just wanted to share last but certainly not least probably the most important product that we all have a beauty blender but it just does it all and that oh nope that does not excuse me spoolie this spoolie has been through so much i also brought a clean spoolie because i like to like brush out my eyelashes to like curl them instead of using a curler because then they don't fall out so that is all this is a long video i have missed you guys i'm gonna get back to video making i'm like convinced that i'm a youtuber so that's annoying and sloppy no one has the time to do that that is not my journey that is not your journey the little youtuber things i must say is follow me on all my social medias it is at i'm lucas pedroso on literally everything let's become besties give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed leave a comment down below telling me are you a light packer are you a heavy packer and just interact you know this is too much i need to go to sleep